Oh, well, well, hi there, ma'am. Uh, welcome to Jimmy Dirt's finest soil emporium. Will we weed out the competition by planting the seeds of tomorrow? How can I help you? Well, hi. I am in need of some desperate help. You see, I scattered some seeds along my driveway. And those rootin' tootin' birds, they just keep a coming down and eating them. Well, you've come to the right place. Oh. Cause here at Jimmy Dirt's finest soil emporium, we're gonna get you some new soil for them seeds, and we're gonna get it growing back right again. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Uh, but how do I do that, though? <laughs> Let's get you soil. Oh, oh. <laughs> I just got a new shipment in of our quick sprouting soil this morning. Wanna go check it out? Wonderful. All right, let's go. One week later. All right. Jimmy Jr., you better get down off that shed. Don't make me come over the... Hi, man. How you doing this morning? Welcome to Jimmy Dirt's finest soil emporium, where we weed out the competition by planting the seeds of tomorrow. How can I help you? You don't remember me? <laughs> Here at Jimmy Dirt's finest soil emporium, I never forget a face, and well, I, I, I've never seen you before. I came in here last week, and you sold me some quick sprouting soil that was filled with rocks. And then when my seeds started sprouting, well, they were too weak and withered because they didn't have deep roots because of them rocks. Well, ma'am, let's get you soil, all right? Uh, we just got another shipment in of our new expanse infused rich soil. And I think that's gonna solve the problem. Wanna go check it out? All right. All right, come on. One week later. No, mama, I told you, if the cat's wet, you cannot microwave it to dry it off. That's not gonna work. Mama, I got a, I got a customer here. Let me call you right back, okay? Welcome to Jimmy Dirt's finest. So oh, my goodness. You, sir, have killed my seeds. Don't I know you? Yes. Oh, that's right. You on that TV show, that, that, that Honey Boo Boo TV no, show. No, not that Honey Boo Boo show. Sir, I came in here and you sold me two kinds of soil. The first was all rock filled and the second well second huh, huh, the second allowed my seeds to grow and then those those thorny weeds came and, and it, it choked them it killed them yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm so sorry about your seeds thank you and I promise you I will do everything in my power to yeah. make this right I can see you're a damsel in distress. But you know what? I got just the thing for you. Okay? So why don't you say we just... Let's get you soiled. Alright? Just this morning, I received the shipment of the most finest Jimmy Dirt soil we've ever got. Alright? This soil will make your seeds grow faster than a turtle with its tail on fire. Well... Well... I do owe it to my seeds. Let's, let's do it. All right, let's go. One week later. <laughs> oh, hi ma'am. Welcome to Jimmy Dirt's finest soil in Florida, where we weed out our competition by planting Hi, seeds. Mr. Dirt. I just had to come in and thank you for that soil you sold me last week. Who are you again? I'm just playing with you. I'll never forget a face. <laughs> right. Well, that soil you sold me last week helped my seeds sprout quickly, grow strong, and weren't uh, choked out by those pesky weeds. I'm going to have a good harvest this year, and I have you to thank. Well, man, actually, you got you got Jesus to thank, man. What? Yeah, in Jesus' parable about the four soils, he explains how different seeds have different reactions to different types of soil. Well, you know, Jesus wasn't talking about seeds and soil. He was actually talking about the gospel people's hearts. See, the gospel is the message about the kingdom of God that Jesus introduced in the parable of the sower. Not only is it planted in the lives of believers, but also we who are Christians then share it with others. We share the gospel with the world each time we're not afraid to testify about the Lord to the people around us. As God's farmers, we sow the seed, then water it, but it's God who makes it grow. Wow, I didn't know we could be God's farmers every day like that. <laughs> well, of course we can. It's actually this parable that gave me my inspiration to start my business. Jimmy, Jimmy Dirt's finest soil in Florida, where we weed out the competition by planting the seeds of tomorrow. Am I right? I think that's a wrap. <laughs>